Uh, oh dollars. my god. This is why you get the old meteorites he's holding. I actually yeah. like this one too. Time piece the best, every watch from that. Today I went to the safe, pulled out a few pieces, and we're gonna be talking about underrated watches. I appreciate it if you come through, you know what I'm saying? My wear for the break. Welcome back TPT gang. We had an amazing week over here at the office. Some great content for you to see. Some amazing clients that came to visit us again. Let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We were just looking at this and we were talking about how this meteorite is so much different than the than the newer meteorite. A lot that of we've the been meteorites seeing. that you see in them are very plain. They're kind of flat looking and if you see this one has like a lot of character in it you know it looks very shiny which is something that it you see on a lot of angles. only in the old daytona yeah. so i've been telling everyone get the old daytona get the old meteorite daytona this is why you get the old meteorite daytona because it looks exactly like this and this is where the money's at this type of dial even this okay. watch is incredible i mean this watch or a meteorite daytona for 120k i'm taking this all day yeah. there's no question yeah it's half the price it's, it's Less insane than half. yeah absolutely beautiful but yeah. we just found out that this is actually what well, we believe just based on the look that this is probably from, from that slab. the same slab or very similar time frame as the original daytona like they might have had some leftover meteorite or something like that mm -hmm. i'm actually gonna ask them when i roll up and see what's up with that that's yeah, a great I, question I'm really curious. Ask. yeah i'm curious too the older one had more iron content so that's why it looks more silver looks more that silver. One. Ah. there we go yeah. that's exactly why driving the facts i like it because i see the silver in there what this thing is badass this? that's a boutique edition that's right. So what I was thinking, what I was thinking that it's could awesome, be interesting. Awesome. Um, I'm just going for, we have, we have a ton, I mean, the, the world is our oyster at the yeah, moment, but of course. we could trade this for a white okay. and then trade the other items for this, or okay. I have a plot twist. Okay. Bubba, but what, what do you think about a black ceramic double balance skeleton? So that you have a double balance skeleton in ceramic, which takes the place of a ceramic which watch. One? Let me see. I'll show you a picture of it. Let's put this down. Those are sweet. How much are those? For this, 265, brand new. 265, yeah, those are sick, sick. Cause that would fill the place of a ceramic. Well, you have also, the skeleton. Yeah, I also have the, this is the other one I was gonna show you. I didn't wanna tell you what I paid for this. I stole it back in 2020. You ripped it? Yeah, when they, before they went crazy. But they're just beautiful watches. I have the Did road. you even wear this? Barely. I have the rose, so it's, it's every watch you'll ever get from me will be like you won't even know if I do wear it. They're brand new. Thing's perfect. This thing is literally new. It's new. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Every watch that I have is like that. Oh, you got the one and a half link too. Yeah, I have the extra half link. I have all the links in there. But I bought the extra uh, half link because my wrist is like right in that in between size. It's like an OG panda. I like that. It's fucking mad. Yeah, that looks cool. Absolutely mad. That's a that's a beautiful look right there. I love it. That's cool. The panda is really clean. Sick. Yeah. We'll call it the panda now. It's it's not the uh, it's not the tuxedo. I like the tuxedo. Panda. It is more of a tuxedo. It's fucking sick. I just like that it also goes with the interior of the watch. Yeah. The black. Yes. Yeah. You get that interior match. Yeah. It all kind of ties in. Yeah. It's, that's badass. Marco, can you come in? Um, my room, bro, please. Yeah. Damn, I can't keep a straight face. Bro, uh, can you close the door for me? Yeah. Bring my laptop or not? Uh, yeah, bring your laptop. I suck at keeping a straight face, bro. What do you got? Bro, so I was going over uh, Sanju's accounts that you yeah. did. Sanju? Like all the log sales. And it's like, it's really bad, bro. It didn't log it good. The Sanju thing? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> yeah, you logged it horribly. How did I, how did I log it bad though? No, no. <laughs> horrible at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, no, like, no, you've been doing good and you've been doing good with that counting. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. You've been helping me a lot. So I got you a little, a little something, you know? <laughs> Part of the game now, officially. Thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but you better, you better get all the rest of that. Kind of bro, I'm so confused. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I suck at that, bro. So we're happy to be part of this family, like always. Uh, yeah. You gotta get a chain for it today. I already have it, bro. Oh, okay, look. 
Yeah, I got David German like in, in matches with this, so. Of course, David Yerman. Yeah. Fancy, bro. Fancy, bro. bro. Appreciate there you it. Oh, dog. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, bro. For sure. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Guys, he's gonna love no, this. Oh. This is crazy. This is the Oyster Band, right? Correct. Oyster Band. This is 2023? 2023. This is like two this weeks is... ago. So it used to be called the Kermit, uh, now they call it the Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. <laughs> it's a submariner. Wow. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. Let me try it on. Whoa, 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 you're come just, come no, 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 it's brand new, it. no one's worried yet. Green is his brand, like, he just got green Louis Vuitton shoes, like, now this green Submariner or the Sprite is gonna match, match him perfectly. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, these are the two choices. How bad do you want him back, Sam? <laughs> I don't think the Jubilee band would look good, looks good on, like, I think that one's like him. all green around. You like I think them. all green around is so much better for him. So that one is 95. This one? That one. This one's 19.5 and this one this is 15750. 15750. What up, Um yeah, so no jumper decided to post that I cheated on him after a lie detector test. Guys, I promise the lie detector test is lying. It's not my fault. I was, I didn't do anything wrong. I actually care for him. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy him this. This is beautiful. I just know, I know he's gonna love it. Let's put it away. So, I mean, the um, yes, please. That would be amazing. Just so he can wear it today. He can try it on. Wow, this one actually, yeah, this is good. This fits like mine. We couldn't, we cannot take any more You can't take any more off? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no but more links off, guys. I'll show you actually. This, the submariners, they made this new buckle, which is very, very smart. So if you, if you need it to be tighter, you just pull it in. If it needs to be a little looser, you just pull it out. It's like pushing down on it. all the way tight for now. For now. So when you glide it, it glides easily, and then when you're yeah. done with it, you just clamp it down. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Okay, but I haven't seen that before. Yeah, so Only like submariners do this. Oh, okay. You guys have treated me like family so far. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. I know. We're Always. just like random right now, but we'll develop a good relationship, I promise. First of many, right? Already have one. What? First of many, yeah. right? Yeah, anyone in Jack's clique is part of the family yeah. already, you know? Yeah, no, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I've been, me and Jack have been making videos together since we were like 15, so this is like a huge milestone. Yeah. More to come, let's go. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you. That one is good, I like the size of this one. Yeah, so that's a 33 millimeter, so that, this would be oh. relatively similar when it comes to the sizes. And then you've right. got your 37 millimeters, which are a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, yeah, then you've got 36 millimeters on the Rolex, 28 millimeters over here. Yeah, I think like maybe 33 is, or like around that range might be. See, like the 36 doesn't really look that I big. I think a lot of people have this one. The Datejust? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, Rolex is one, one of Rolex's most well-known. Oh yeah, this one's a lot better. I like it. I really like the, the shape of those. I actually yeah. like this one too. I like this one, but you know, I feel like everybody has this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So everything like the green just pops. Yeah, right now green is yeah. just extremely this hot in the market. It's what? Like green is an extremely yeah. hot down in the market. Saying, uh, yeah, like like the, uh, the Santos came out with the green. Yeah, have you seen them? Yeah, I saw it. I'm like, that's the one that I had to like really convince myself. Yeah, yeah. I love this one too. <laughs> and like, and that's You're obviously very big on me, but. <laughs> that's a 50th anniversary, so it was made only in 2022. Wow, so if you so see the back, like if you when you take it off, you see the back. It says 50. So only AP is made oh, in 2022. Wow. Oh, that's super nice. Do you mind putting it on so I can see how? It is? So there's like mm -hmm. a, on average like 6k premium, somewhere around there from normal mm -hmm. to 50. It's a you beautiful do, watch. Yeah, it's so so nice. This side first, and then that side. That is a beautiful watch. Looks sick. It looks nice. It's, it's very shiny. Like, that's why people like AP though, because the bracelet like, yeah, has that shine. Very nice. Mm. By the way, that's a, like, it's a, it's a good deal. You're like six, seven K under yeah. anybody else, which is like 10%. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. For like a $65,000 like watch to be six K oh. under is good. Oh, Omar, we'll go I mean, way it's back. a great we'll go deal. Way back. Yeah. <laughs> I, know you're, I know you're giving me a good deal. This watch is beautiful and yeah. it's so elegant. I mean, if I try it on, it's not going to like 
do it justice, but... <laughs> How much are hulks for? Depends on uh, like year and condition. Oh. They was discontinued in 2020. Mm -hmm. So it depends on year and condition. They go between like, I would say 18 to 25, 25. more or less, yeah. yeah. It's just like naked, like with no papers and box. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can get it like under 20. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, like full set is usually going like a little over 20. Yeah. So Jacob just hit me up in the morning. He's like, bro, I'm flying to Europe today and I need a fucking watch. So we hooked him up, we made it happen. Found him the Daytona he's always been wanting. At least for like a month, you've been talking to me about this piece, right? We're, we're stepping up, incrementally stepping up. Yeah. But uh, Jacob has his, actually his own TikTok. My TikTok's Bake Money with Jacob. Doesn't check it out, but time piece the best. Every watch from them. Yeah. Yeah, the best it. works with the best, right? Yes, sir. As always. Yes, sir. Wow, bro. It's like RM10, I mean. so like, uh, it, in a way, entry level RM, and it's, uh, I think, just over 100k. Dude, what's fucked up is like, I feel like no matter how much money I make, it just like feels so weird spending that much on a lot. It's a lot, but. Bro, but like, you, you gotta also take into consideration no, how much these I have gone it, down, bro. you know? I need it. It's like in my fucking blood, bro. And I feel like in your in your industry, like wearing something like that makes you more money. You know exactly. I mean? you, have, you have to consider an investment, not like the material investment, but in a way that it's gonna be a, a huge conversation starter, you know? Oh, dude, that man, you, YouTube is huge with YouTube. Um, I love it. I feel like it just, because I also look really young, bro, I feel like it solidifies you well. Bro, I, I, like, I'm not even kidding. There's so many places I've gone to where, like, it's just a bunch of entrepreneurs. I'm 22 years old. Like, there's people that, like, look bigger than me, like, look like they have more. And, bro, I'm just wearing a simple fit. People will come and talk to me just because I have this on. You know, it's it's like the Lambo, bro. I got convinced to get the, not convinced, but I was, like, very on the fence of the Lambo. Yeah. And they wanted, they wanted a good amount of down, bro. So I was 19 getting it. And... I did. Yeah, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it. And for like two weeks in, I was like, this is the best thing I've ever. <laughs> I was like, how much did you put down on your Lambo? I had to put down 120. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's crazy. But 100% um, we're good with this and we can do payment for it. But I, I definitely. John, we should show him the RM5 rules. I was going to say, what's yeah. like 100K entry um, level RM that's small like that? I'll show you right now. I'll show you, yeah. Cause what are these? These are kind of sexy. These are the, 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 the new ladies 704. They're 400 a pop. 400 Yeah. What? That's so yeah. Ladies RMs. How? <laughs> what the fuck? They're so rare. The retail got raised too. I think retail is like almost close to 300. Is this factory set? Yeah. How much does it go for? This is a turbine, bro. 800. What the fuck? Yeah. RM? Is, oh, this is heavy as it's fuck. Bro. RM, when they go like crazy movements, they, their retails are very high. And Turbion, just what is Turbion, bro? Turbion is like a movement powered by like gravity. It's crazy. Yeah. Right. I'm afraid of all this, bro. My thing is, I just want like, I like the stepping up to the entry level of the bigger brands. Yeah. That's I, what you need to do. Yeah. Slowly, you know? Patek or RM by end of year. Bro, do you almost think it's. I honestly, good? and I'm telling you this. I feel like RM doesn't look good. I'm telling you this unbiasedly. Like, I love to sell RM, but I feel like you need an Aquaman. Like you need. Right? I think like I do as well. It fits your style like perfectly. Yeah. We can get you like a stainless steel non chrono yes. for like 60, uh, mid 60s. Uh, oh, okay, we're 100% perfect. Yeah. Well, like a month or two. I'm like, even when you come, if you come back and you want to do that, you can figure out what the Sprite is or the Daytona, whichever one you want to yeah. trade, you know? Because yeah. if you have that, you don't need to. Does that mean you see someone trades up? Yeah. Bro, people trade in all the time. We love that, you know? This is the RM5 oh. Rose Gold. Are you trying on? Yeah, of course, bro. So those have been discontinued since like 2014, 2015. So they're super rare to come across. And these are the ones people swap the uh, strap? Yeah. On all of them. All of them you can, yeah. Bro, I, I can. It's like one, bro, would I not get like fully pulled up on? I feel like I'm 100% getting robbed. No, you just gotta be safe, bro. You move smart, you're not easy. Facts. <laughs> I guess it's similar. But, um, yeah, bro, it's 2 OD. I don't think this is 100 awkward on 70. I think awkward on 2 better not. I feel like, I feel like maybe for you it is. And then when, once you get tired of that, you move into the RM, you know? Fuck, no, I fuck with that, bro. Yeah. I go to the RM, I'm going back. That's Lambo RM. Bro. Yeah, that's Lambo RM. This is like... We could work out a trade, bro. You want to get rid of your car? No, 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 I love the car. <laughs> it's like something like, like this, like, 10 years ago, you used to buy it at a certain price, you know, like a Daytona. People used to know, like, okay, I'm paying this amount for a Daytona. Used to be steady. Like, they know they could sell this amount. But, like, Not now, bro, much. it's crazy. It, like, These fluctuates were up every like day. 40, 42, I feel like a year ago. No, this, no. Like, a, like high 30s. High 30s? Yeah. I know the AP's got like fucked, bro. Down, down, like, down like 55, 60%. Uh, AP's and RMs are two watches I never thought I'd be able to rock. 
I was like, like a girl, the photo girl into maybe your aqua. I feel like you need an aqua. I know. Yeah. I know. I do. Like when you brought that up to me, I was like, yo, that's perfect. Bro, for I, Jacob. I literally <laughs> said to you, I said my end of year, bro, I'm buying. There's two things in my life that I like, need. One is like I love when my team's happy. It makes you feel good. And two is I love looking forward to buying shit. Yeah, it motivates you it's more. Fun, bro. Yeah. What they've done is they actually yes. have a button where you can stop and start the rotor so that the watch essentially turns on right, and off. Like if you're out doing activities, so the watch doesn't get damaged. supposed to do on a five hundred thousand dollar watch. <laughs> I guess. Work. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You need. You need to uh, actually. That, that's funny. That that's maybe why they raised the retail. So they're like, okay, well we put a button so you can stop and you can actually yeah, do some yeah. work. We're gonna raise the retail one hundred fifty grand. Well, what's funny is like every time I wear a fucking RM to work, my wife is like, babe, why do you got a fucking you know, whatever expensive watch on. I'm like, it's my work watch, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this actually changed the game. I mean, for them to do that colorway, they're really working on um, their NTPT. Another thing that I don't know if you noticed is actually the quality of the NTPT is in fact changing. So same material, both very different. So you'll see a little bit more shiny, a little bit more flat. So you'll see here, but then look at this one. Yeah, no doubt. The blend is completely different. Yeah, that's a different. lot more matte almost. Or this this has a lot more, almost looks like silver. On the, the streaks through the it. The streaks, yeah. <clears throat> and then this, it looks like very silverish, mm -hmm. you know? So there, this is the obviously a much older watch and then these are the newer ones. Yeah. It's See, kinda, this, this looks different than that. Even A lot, oh, a lot different. <clears throat> <clears throat> this yeah, looks yeah. really flat, you mm -hmm. know? And then you look at it in some lights and it's shiny. It's cool that they're doing that. Yeah, I think my next one will be a, like the APs that we've been looking at. One of the new blue ones. Like, I'm trying my best to never buy at the wrong fucking time, bro. Timing is like, the most important thing. The time I, the time that I've lost my ass is when I fucking rush into something because of a feeling. You know what I mean? Like, of course. Oh, like, I gotta buy this now, or I've lost my ass both times I've done that. I always tell people to um, plan to hold, which you're definitely very good at doing that. Now. Um, but also, go with your instinct, you know? And it's like, that's the same thing. New watches come out all the time. And I and people are like, I need to buy it right now. I'm like, do you really need it right now? Yeah, yeah I want to be the first one. And I'm like, okay, if you want to be the first what one, are you, are, mean, are, you, are you prepared to lose 30%, right, yeah, you know, exactly. 40%? To pay a premium to say that you have the first one. And a lot of people are like, no. And then it's the same thing with holidays. A lot of people will wait. Bro, the perfect example is booking a vacation. You want to book a vacation the Wednesday before you're leaving on Friday, yeah, or you want to book it a month in advance. Exactly, exactly. It's all about timing. It's the same thing with watches. You want to buy a Christmas day, and I'm at home and you want me to come to the office right. and I have and to call gonna, my friend exactly. who has to open his office to get the watch and it's a rush and last second, like gonna there's more. gonna be a premium for right. that, you know? Exactly. Or the watch just came out, there's always premiums, but I always go with my pricing with instinct, like mm -hmm. how I feel and if something makes sense. I always tell people, look, when you're upside down in a watch, the best thing to do is not sell. Yeah, no. A lot of people, their first, which you did amazing with that, their first instinct is sell. Worst thing you can do. Yeah. Like, Sometimes it's okay, you know, you see something drop and I'm taking my loss now, I'm not taking it all the way. When something has settled, it's been relaxed around a price point, trade. If you're gonna do anything with it, either A, hold it or trade it. Or trade. Um, that's the best thing to do it. I always tell people trade into something that you like. Yes, it will be more expensive. Right. Um, <clears throat> as far as like your cost basis, like feeling like, okay, wow. I, let's say you traded for a stainless steel skeleton, you're like, damn, I paid 200 grand for a stainless steel skeleton. You'll still have that thought, but you'll enjoy the the watch. Yeah. You know, I was and it has room to grow. You have to look at stuff that has room to grow. Yeah, no. The other thing that I always tell people is you got to look at the surroundings, right? So like, if I come here and I have one RM and forty Rolex, and I'm and I know you can buy an RM, and I'm like, buy the RM. It's the investment. It's yeah. the right thing. And you're like, but you have fifty Rolex. Yeah, right. Yeah. Why don't you have? So 50? where are your RMs? Right, you know, yeah. it's like that's why we always make sure that we're backing up what we're saying with yeah. what we truly believe. To be fair, I mean, I bought three watches from them and the other two are just fine. Reasonable. Yeah, I'm still just sitting good in this 65 and I, the one I sent you, the Platinum Daytona. I did fine on that one. I bought it brand new for 125. You did really good actually. You know, and I you got offered it at 180 the a year later and I turned it down. You wrote in that thing like yeah. the whole, the so whole cycle, like I'm you know? I'm fucking getting rid of it. And then here I fucking traded it for, for this actually. Which also you did good. Yeah, I did good on this. But what? Yeah, you're solid. I mean, you're beyond yeah. solid. I actually just, I, I'm about, I'm working on buying one right now, a complete set for a lot, a lot more. But I'm working on it, and we'll have to see how it goes. But I'm hope, I'm hopeful I can get it done. But that's 
I haven't seen one since that one. I have not had another one. I have not been offered another one. I've seen people looking for it. There's literally one guy that has it. He's asking an ungodly price. Over, he's trying to, over four, four? Well four? over four. Okay. Well, like almost five. Okay. He's asking 490. Yeah, I'm good. But that being said, it's a watch that you can do stuff like that in the right circumstances yeah. if no, no, no one has it. Yeah, you told me too, like, yo, this is the one. Like 100%. you didn't say this is a great investment. You just like- It's a great deal. This is a great deal. Yeah, that's what you said. It, it, it's, I mean, you can't find that. And it's my, it's, it's my favorite watch now. This is like literally my fucking daily. I'm glad you went with that too compared to all the other options because uh, I think that one goes with your style the best. It and does, man. I also feel good and confident with you having it. So it's fucking sure. perfect. It is. All right, guys, what is going on? So today I've prepared for you a nice plethora of options for a very hot topic that many people have been asking me about for as long as I can remember. I get asked this question probably four to 10 times a day at minimum. Um, and it's a very hot topic and a very big question that I'd love to answer for you guys and walk you through a couple options. Now, as time goes on, of course, a few of these options might change. Maybe I include something else, but today I went to the safe, pulled out a few pieces, and we're gonna be talking about some underrated watches. So the main question that people ask me is, hey man, I wanna buy a watch, what should I buy? I always give honest advice. Um, now this question is something that caters from person to person. The budget is so important. The type of person is so important. The utility of the watch is so important. But I would say today that just going through a bunch of examples, some that we don't have and some that we do have, um, I put together a nice little range of pieces for you guys to consider when you are looking for that new watch. So to dive into things um, and to elaborate a little bit further, Today, these pieces I believe are underrated, whether that is financially in the market or just in general and deserve a little bit more respect. A vast majority of these are leaning towards the undervalued slash underrated, not just underrated, um, but typically underrated comes with an undervalued price point from what I've seen in the past. Um, so going to this, I will say guys, this is not financial advice. This is not me telling you guys to run out there pick up one of these watches, but these are my personal opinions on them. This is what I see in the market. And in fact, I own a few of these pieces myself. Uh, that just goes to show that I am trying to, uh, you know, really practice what I preach and really give you guys the most honest and true and real advice out there in the market. You will notice there is not a lot of, uh, you know, diversity here. These are from some very safe brands and some very safe pieces. Um, there is some out there that are a little bit more curveball. So you guys are going to get a little taste of everything. Let's dive into it. We're gonna kick it off with the first piece, which I personally think is a very underrated watch today. That is going to be the white gold original 116509 Daytona. So today I have this one. This one is in fact mine. This is the Meteorite. Now there is a lot of other variations of this watch that I'd love to talk to you guys about. So the two in particular that I find to be a little bit underrated in the market is going to be the racing dials. So we can pop up a picture of the black and white racing dial here on the screen. Um, but an all white gold Daytona, absolutely stunning watch. I love the racing dial myself. And that's a watch you can be picking up in the low 30s, even if you get lucky, high 20s. To give you a comparison, guys, this is the same price as a Panda Daytona. So white gold Daytona versus a stainless steel Daytona, same price. I like the way that the racing dial looks. I think it's a watch that people don't see very often and they should definitely be considering when picking up a new watch. A lot of people are like, hey, I want something a little bit more stealthy, uh, a little bit different, and I don't want to break the bank. Twenty-eight dollars to $35,000 range for a very nice example of a white gold racing Daytona. I find to be a very nice price point in the market. This is also competing with stuff like a 15400 ST, um, some 15500 ST Royal Oaks. This is gonna be competing with a lot of the Rolexes, guys, all the sports models, all of the stainless steel Daytonas, um, and even some of the day dates. Some all gold day dates are gonna be in this range as well. So I definitely consider 116509 white gold Daytona. Meteorite, I also believe is a great option, but those racing dials in particular, great price point today. Moving right along, we're gonna continue with the theme. Here's another watch I personally think does not get enough love in the market and definitely people should be thinking about it a little bit more often. And that is going to be the original two-tone GMT. 
So guys, this watch, 16713, this guy originally comes on a two-tone bracelet. I put this really cool NATO strap on it. This is actually one of my personal watches. Um, this watch, compared to the root beer, we're talking about a 50% price difference. So to give you an idea, new root beer today, $20,000. Original root beer, let's say 10 to $12,000 price point range. Even some of them are creeping under the $10,000 price point range. I think this is a great watch, great bang for the buck. You're getting a half gold you know, watch, um, center links, and of course you have this beautiful look and it's something that you don't see every day. Personally, I'm more inclined to this variation of the root beer than the new one. However, I do think that this is a great price point. Of course, guys, it is an older watch. It is an older bracelet. It does have its little corks, but uh, you know, for around that $10,000 price point range, I think this is a great option and you guys should definitely be considering this watch. Whether you want to wear it on the two-tone bracelet or you want to wear it on a strap, definitely can do either or. I myself am not the biggest fan of two-tone. Um, that is why I actually did put it on the strap. But what do you guys think? Do you think it looks nice? Um, it is a little bit funny to put a $10,000 watch on a $20 strap. But that being said, I love how it looks and it's very fun and versatile. And I do get a lot of wear and enjoyment out of this. Definitely a very nice option to consider. Next up, another watch I definitely think you guys should be keeping your eye out for, and this is gonna kinda of go into three separate categories, um, but I like some of these older GMTs, the 16710 and the 16700. Now, whether you like the Coke or the Pepsi or the original all black GMT, um, the all black GMT, in fact, you can even pick up under $10,000 today, the Coke and the Pepsi, you're gonna be in that 10 to $12,000 range. This one happens to be a Tiffany & Co. Uh, version of the Pepsi all original with everything. So it does have a big price difference, but I'm referring to the 16710 and 16700 standard Swiss only or GMT version. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. I absolutely love wearing this watch. It definitely has a very nice feel. Once again, guys, some of these older Rolexes you definitely have to try on, feel and understand. Definitely not something you just wanna dive head first into if you are expecting that like super modern feel, but when I put this on, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And I think that some of them are in really great price points today. So definitely consider them and keep you on, or keep them on your list. Now guys, uh, another really, really cool example that I'd love to talk to you guys about is going to be the original Polar Explorers, guys. So the 16550s, the 16570s, this happens to be a cream doll variation. Now I am talking about the original Polar as well as the black option, not specifically the cream. The cream will have a very large premium, but for sake of this argument and conversation, I definitely think you guys should check out some of those older explorers. Once again, we are continuing that little bit of an older watch theme, but a watch can pick up well under $10,000. So get a very solid, beautiful Polar Explorer, which will pop one up here on the screen or the black variation under $10,000. I think it's a really great example. Now, this doesn't have the biggest gap from the current um, Explorer option that is in the market, the Explorer 2. That watch today is gonna to be around the 12,000, uh, you know, 10 to $12,000 price point range. The older one is going to be discounted from there. It's not these crazy, you know, $10,000 difference or $5,000 difference. It is only a few thousand dollar difference. However, I personally love the original Polar Explorer. I think it's a really great option today in the market. You guys should definitely consider it as well. Go check one out. I think they look stunning and it goes with absolutely everything. So definitely take that into consideration. Now, moving right along into some of the day dates. So a lot of people reach out to me, they're like, hey, I'm getting my first serious watch. I want a day date. I want a 40 millimeter day date. I want an RBR. Um, I want a TBR day date. I want something modern, 40 millimeter. Guys, I'm telling you, go look in the market and check out the 41 millimeter day dates. These are priced insane. A couple of days ago, I went to give a price to a customer for one of these. I was looking a little bit into the market and I said, what is going on? I ended up spending a few more hours looking into it and I just can't believe what the state of the 41 millimeter market is. Definitely a very beautiful watch. If you have a little bit of a bigger wrist, it's gonna fit absolutely perfectly. And these guys have dropped significantly. We are looking in the high 20s, sometimes even mid 20s, low 20s. If you're paying over $30,000 for something like this, I would be absolutely stunned unless it is a gem set variation. These guys are priced amazingly, especially the white gold. The white gold and the yellow gold are priced insane. 41 millimeter day dates. 
Go check them out, guys. Definitely something you should really consider. The reference on this is going to be 218239. Um, of course, the yellow gold 218238, and then the rose gold 218235. Go check out the 41 millimeter day dates. We actually have this beautiful black dial option in stock at the moment. And these guys are just priced like, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane in my opinion why they're priced like this compared to the 40 millimeter and even some of the sports model Rolexes. I mean, to pick up a solid white gold day dates in the 20s, high 20s, low 20s, mid 20s, whatever it may be, definitely a really good option in my opinion. You guys should definitely take a look at them. All right, now guys, we're gonna be moving on to the next segment. I'm sure a lot of you guys at home are like, Sean, you're killing me. It's all vintage stuff, it's all older stuff. Where's the modern stuff? Where are the modern deals? Um, let's dive right into it. So this one we actually don't have in stock. This is a huge seller for us, but definitely one that you guys should consider. That is going to be the new style Rolex Kermit. Once again, I'm buying and selling every single day. I was looking into this Kermit for a customer. I saw the prices of them and I said, what is going on? I mean, this is a watch that you can pick up pre-owned around thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. In my opinion, comparing it to a lot of the other models, it is a very, very, very advantageous purchase, and it's different. You don't sell too many of them. For us, a lot of our customers are partial to like the Hulk and the Pepsi and the Batman. The Kermit guys or the Starbucks, however you like to refer to it, is a really great option. Definitely should be considering it if you'd like a modern Rolex example. Um, as you guys can see here, we do have a very, you know sort of standard theme throughout this video and I've been showing you guys a lot of Rolexes um, but today I believe that there are really good examples out here like some of these that I'm showing you now that are really well priced and definitely underrated. Kermit, definitely very underrated watch. If you want to be a little bit different, if you don't want the Hulk that maybe you know some of your friends have or some other people you've seen wearing, um, definitely consider the Kermit. It's a really great watch and it's at a really good price point just because the colorway has a little bit of a, uh, you know, sort of discount from some of the other models like the Pepsi and the Batman, but it's a classic piece. It's beautiful. Don't be afraid of it. Check it out and let me know what you guys think. Now, as the theme of modern continues, let's look at some other brands. I've just bored you guys with Rolexes. It's all been Rolexes. Come on guys. Where's the APs? Where's the RMs? Where's the paddocks? All right. So next up is going to be a really beautiful watch, a watch that I have been considering putting into a personal collection, my personal collection for a very long time. Um, this is a watch that actually helped to allow for me to fall in love with AP so much, and that is going to be the 26400 AU Forged Carbon Offshore. So guys, retail on this watch well into the 30s. We're talking about almost $34,000 retail. Today, this watch, mid-20s. So guys are looking at all the new offshore examples. 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, some are even more. Even some of the ladies offshore examples. 50, 60, 70,000, et cetera. Forge Carbon Offshore, you'd be looking for a full set right around the $25,000 price point mark. This watch has been so insanely stable for the past not one year or two years. Past five years, it is absolutely insane. As far as AP goes, being able to buy a watch, have incredible st uh, stability for let's say five years, I definitely think this is a great option to consider. I wouldn't say that this is one that you're gonna pick up and expect to sell it for you know, $30,000, $40,000 down the line, but it's a bulletproof watch. It's very stable. It has beautiful forged carbon accents all throughout the watch, a full far forged carbon body and a ceramic bezel, and you're well under the $30,000 price point mark. I think this is definitely a very nice option for you if you are partial to 44 millimeters. Will look really fun with some different strap options, and it has the open case back Take a look at the 26400A, you guys. I'm telling you, this is a really nice option for today's market. All right, so let's kick it up a little bit. We were just in the like 10 to $30,000 price point range. I'm gonna bump this one up a lot. Uh, this is not going to be for, let's say, the average uh, watch buyer out there. But if you are looking for a super heavy hitter, I have a very special piece here, which actually is a piece that I sold to my customer six months ago-ish, maybe seven months ago. He's actually left it here. He's gonna be picking it up soon, but this, guys, is going to be the Salmon Dial Minute Repeater. Let's see what you think about it down below. This is going to be two, reference 26591TI, Salmon Dial Minute Repeater. Guys, let's talk about minute repeaters for a second. When you think about minute repeaters, you're thinking multi-million dollars, big boy pieces, crazy price tags, absolutely stunning. I mean, just listen to this, guys. It's absolutely insane. It's 
to have your watch be able to chime for you and tell you the time this is absolutely the top 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 peak of what watchmaking is known for very special piece this guy is a salmon dial it is limited 35 pieces this watch today under retail under retail under three hundred thousand dollars black dial even less blue dial right around the same price as the salmon right under that three hundred thousand dollar price point range this is a phenomenal watch guys if you can compare it to other brands like let's say Longue or uh, Patek, other brands like that, to get into Minute Repeater, we're talking six, seven, eight hundred thousand. Patek, forget about it. We're talking million dollars, Minute Repeater. AP under retail, ridiculously priced watch. To me, it makes no sense. I've been telling all my customers about this that love to buy really nice big boy pieces. This watch is insane. I mean, you cannot get anything in this class for this sort of price point from a very big brand such as AP and the big four. Guys, take a look at it, go watch a video about it, learn about it. Let me know what you think down below. Am I crazy to think that this should be going over retail? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Minute repeater, insane complication, ridiculous. Why is it going under retail today? I don't think this watch gets enough love. Before you pick up, like let's say, a rainbow skeleton or a black sermon perpetual or something like that, you should definitely be considering this. I love this watch, full titanium, beautiful sound, 35 pieces written on the back and a salmon dial. Come on guys, I mean, it's, to me this like is blowing my mind even holding it and thinking about that, but definitely a very underrated watch to me and definitely one I'd love to see on more collector wrists out there. Definitely a strong consideration if anyone's looking in that $250 to $350,000 price point range. Take a look at these. Before you buy the Patek Minute Repeater, consider the AP Minute Repeater. Absolutely phenomenal watch. Now guys, the last two pieces and this first one that I'm gonna be talking about is the 5968A. So I'm saving two fun ones as we approach the end of this 10 piece journey. The 5968A Orange Aquanaut Travel Time. This watch has been near and dear to me for a very long time. When it first came out, I fell in love with it. Absolutely stunning watch or pop up a picture right here on the screen for you guys to take a look at it. This watch I have seen go all over the place. Came out of the gate, $80,000, straight to $200,000 over the next following years, back down to $120,000. Since then, they've released so much more stuff, guys. The 5168 in green and blue, the 5968 green and blue, the 5968R. This watch has still held up, still done great, and still a very powerful watch in the market. I was sitting down, I was talking to a few other dealers about this watch. We were talking about how we've seen the same pattern perform three years in a row, where it's gone down, it's gone back up. I did a little bit of research in the watch and I found out how difficult it is to get that watch, although I knew it was very difficult. I didn't know quite to the extent of how difficult that watch is to get. I personally believe that this is a very underrated Aquanaut when you compare it to a lot of the other paddock options. Same thing, and I'll throw a little curveball in there as the 5740G, also an under undervalued uh, and underrated watch in my opinion. But the Aquanaut in particular, I think is a very nice example. You guys should definitely consider it. We have them in here all the time. I love the watch. I love the size. I love the versatility of the straps. And I think that it needs to get a little bit more respect for how difficult it is to get that watch and how serious of a watch it is in general. So definitely take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. 5968A stainless steel. Yes, guys, stainless steel, it's expensive. I really love this watch. Definitely think a lot more people should be giving it its flowers because it is very, very serious. And for the grand finale, guys, one more, another piece that I'm actually helping source for a customer right now. It's funny how these pieces sort of just come into my mind um, over time working with so many different people. I'm looking for prices for stuff and I'm like, that watch just makes no sense. Or maybe it's too expensive. Maybe it's not as, not as expensive as I believe it should be. Maybe the price is just the deal. Maybe the market doesn't get it. This watch is a watch that I think that the market doesn't understand. There is one big downside to it, which you guys will see uh, when we throw up the picture here on the screen. That is gonna be the 5961A stainless steel annual calendar chronograph. Very complicated paddock. Personally, a watch that I had tried to fall in love with as far as wearing it aesthetically. I'm not able to pull it off, but for you guys out there that can pull off a watch like this, definitely one I think you guys should consider. I mean, it's just the full package, guys. Beautiful watch, lightweight, complicated, great brand. Not a watch you're gonna see all the time. It's just a little bit different, a little bit more out there. 
almost quirky. I would say very, 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 you know, strange how they have the annual calendar and the chronograph together and the different bracelet and the strange dial colorways where they only have the black or they only have, you know, the white um, for the full stainless steel version. Then they came out with the new platinum versions on a strap and those guys just blew this, this watch out of the water. People are paying more for the platinum versions on a strap than they're paying for the full stainless steel. I personally think that the stainless steel 5968-1A is a really underrated watch, one that should get a lot more respect and love and you guys should consider it. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I ran through a few pieces, a couple of them we had here at the office. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Are you happy with some of my decisions? Would you guys like to see something like this in the future? And hey, have I inspired you guys to maybe pick one of these guys up that I've mentioned here today? Uh, let me know down below and thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you for watching this week's episode. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you must stay tuned for next week's episode. There's gonna be like a huge star coming to TPT and buying a few watches, so stay tuned. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.